I'm an eco dietitian and these are the 5 foods you'll currently find in my cart surprising research findings on big breakfasts, hunger, and weight loss. How to make healthy food changes. I'm an eco dietitian and these are the 5 food varieties you'll as of now track down in my truck on the off chance that you're like me, an excursion to the supermarket can leave you in a condition of overpower. I'm likewise remembering the effect that escalated cultivating rehearses and a compromised climate can have on the supplement thickness of our food. While specific nutrition classes will generally have a gentler impression, it about is developed as well as how that food is developed that can have either negative or positive ramifications for the climate. Plant-based food varieties will generally utilize less assets than creature-based food varieties. Furthermore, buying things developed utilizing natural or regenerative practices that utilization less synthetics and utilize soil building procedures like cover trimming, treating the soil, and edit turn can likewise have an effect on our striving Mother Earth. Besides the fact that better soil has a more prominent capacity to store carbon and endure outrageous climate, however it will in general create better plants. In light of this, the following are 5 food varieties that normally end up in my truck. These wonderful vegetables utilize not very many normal assets and are loaded with supplements. They too fix nitrogen in the dirt, intending that with the assistance of cordial microorganisms, they eliminate nitrogen from the air and carry it to soil, where it very well may be utilized as a characteristic compost. Not all carrots are orange. These generous root vegetables have a light water impression, particularly when developed naturally, and give various nutrients, minerals, and defensive mixtures called carotenoids. They likewise have a more drawn-out time frame of realistic usability than numerous vegetables, making them a supportive colleague in decreasing food squander that likewise adds to ozone-harming substances. Ocean veggies like kelp have been known as a zero input food source since they need no land, composts, or water, beside their common habitat, to develop. They additionally assist shellfish with creating thicker shells, ingest carbon dioxide, and can further develop water quality. Hemp seeds are rich and tasty seeds that require almost no land and water to develop. They produce multiple times less fossil fuel byproducts than a practically identical serving of protein from expectedly raised meat. How I use it, these plant-based protein sources can be a flavorful expansion to oats, yogurt, and pesto. I love remembering it for dinners all through the week to assist with supporting biodiversity in our food framework and get me out of my own rice trench. At the point when I can, I buy natural buckwheat, for the dirt as well as in light of the fact that useful plant synthetics in this yield will generally be higher when less bug sprays slash herbicides have been applied. This super nutritious harvest is developed utilizing environment brilliant regenerative agribusiness procedures that sustain the dirt and safeguard the climate. How I use it, I'll appreciate buckwheat in a bin and grain bowl, serve it alongside eggs, or throw it into any soup for extra mass and nutty flavor. In any case, as per another review that was distributed on September 9 in the Diary Cell Digestion, the manner in which an individual's body utilizes calories isn't impacted by whether they eat their biggest feast early or late in the day. Then again, the investigation discovered that individuals who ate their biggest feast toward the beginning of the day detailed feeling less ravenous later in the day, which could encourage more straightforward weight reduction in reality. There are a great deal of fantasies encompassing the planning of eating and how it could impact either body weight or well-being, says senior creator teacher Alexandra Johnston. For this review, the specialists enlisted sound subjects who were overweight or stout to have their eating regimens controlled and their digestion systems estimated throughout some stretch of time. Every member was haphazardly relegated to eat either a morning stacked or a night stacked diet for quite some time. The eating regimens were isocaloric, 
having similar number of calories, with an equilibrium of 30% protein, 35% starch, and 35% fat. Then, at that point, every member moved over to the contrary eating regimen for 4 weeks, after a middle waste of time of multi-week in which calories were adjusted over the course of the day. All through the review, the subject's complete day-to-day -day energy consumptions were estimated utilizing the doubly named water strategy. This is an isotope-based procedure that ganders at the distinction between the turnover paces of the hydrogen and oxygen of body water as an element of carbon dioxide creation. The essential endpoint of the review was energy balance estimated by body weight. Generally, the specialists observed that energy consumptions and complete weight reduction were no different for the morning stacked and evening stacked counts calories. The members revealed that their hungers were better controlled when they had a greater breakfast and that they felt satisfied all through the remainder of the day, Johnston says. Johnston takes note of that this kind of analysis could be applied to the investigation of discontinuous fasting, additionally called time-confined eating, to assist with deciding the best season of day for individuals following this sort of diet to consume their calories. Later on, the gathering intends to extend its examination into what the hour of day means for digestion by leading investigations like the one depicted here on subjects who accomplish shift work.